Time for a much deserved break. And speaking of which, looks like I'm all alone. Finally, this place is so busy. Okay. I got that completed. I have another appointment. I have a break room all to myself. Let's see, it looks like they only have a coffee vending machine in here. Nothing else, really. Okay. I mean, I was more hungry than I am thirsty, but I guess this will do. Not really one for coffee, but um, maybe I can get like water. Why is it just a keyboard? Do I just like type it in? Okay, water. Oh, accepted. All right. At least I can relax a little bit. I really have to get back to my appointments here. It is quite strange they don't have um, something else in this break room besides a coffee machine. Hmm. Actually, why is this place so dead? It is like lunchtime. This place should be full of people. Level two break room. Hmm. How strange. getting kind of tired and I do have some more appointments to get to. It's been a long, busy day today. I wish they had some kind of like soda pop machine or something. Hmm. I suppose you don't have a direct menu or anything about you. I mean, water makes sense if you're a coffee machine, but there is a keyboard here. I wonder if you can give me like soda pop. A little bit of a caffeine boost. Let's try. Soda pop. Oh, accepted. Okay. From a coffee machine? Wait a second. I've heard of this. I know I have. Okay. You're an SCP. Oh, look at me talking to a coffee machine. Get it together, Smith. Um, I'm not even sure if you can understand me. Um. Okay, I, I know about you. Hold on. 
Let's see my notes. There we are. SCP-294. Object classification Euclid. Okay. Uh, do you speak English? Do you understand me? Look at me. Look what this job has done to me. I am talking to a vending machine. As if that's normal. Okay. Um. It's okay. Um. You are on my, um, list of SCPs that I need to be, uh, touching base with. So, um, this feels weird talking to an inanimate object. Um, let's cut to the chase. I'm Dr. Smith. Um, I'm your new case supervisor. I'm in charge of a certain level of SCP containment procedures, and I'm just here to get to know you. I stumbled upon you, actually. This wasn't a prepared meeting, so I uh, hope that's okay. Right. Because you're a vending machine. Um, alright, well, it's nice to meet you, if you can understand me. Okay, um, just so much for my break. Starting audio log 01 for SCP-294. This is Dr. Smith, and the date is February 2nd, 2022. And the time is 1500. So, um, object classification is Euclid, and there are no standard or special safety precautions for item SCP 294 on file. However, only personnel with security clearance level 2 or higher are allowed to interact with it. Okay, explains why I wasn't questioned when I came into the break room. Currently, SCP is being stored in break room on level 2 and is monitored by two guards at security level 3. Where are the guards? They just left their post? How strange, it doesn't say here that there's any issues or reasons to be concerned. Where would they have gone off to? Of course. I'll look into why the guards left. Um, obviously, this SCP is of no concern, so they probably thought they could leave their shift. Alright, appearance is a standard coffee machine, which I can verify. I'm going to go ahead and take a quick look at you, if that's okay. Really hope no one walks in while I'm talking to a vending machine. Okay. One moment, I'm going to uh, take a look for your um, security personnel. Hold on. Who 
wasn't able to uh, find your security personnel, but uh, let's just see if I can find some more information about you in our database. I do apologize for the sudden interview, but I am getting to know my uh, clients and um, or patients, and uh, I wasn't really prepared to meet you just yet. So it looks here that you're able to produce most liquids at a certain radius. Upon depositing 50 cents US currency into the coin slot, the user is prompted to enter the name of any liquid onto your keyboard, and it will dispense as long as it's in a certain circumference. Okay, standard 12 ounce paper cup. You have uh, Outputted requests such as water, coffee, beer, soda, non-consumable liquid, non-consumable liquids, such as sulfuric acid, wiper fluid, motor oil. You have about 50 uses in you, and then you will respond for about 90 minutes, okay? And it's regarding incident. 294-01. Have this in the log to research further. On August 21st, 2005, Agent Joseph attempted to use SCP to obtain coffee at 9.30 a.m. Requested a cup of Joe. From the item moments after confirming this selection, Agent Joseph began to sweat profusely and complained of dizziness before collapsing. After moving Agent Joseph to the infirmary, the medical team recovered the contents of the cup, and it was a combination of blood and tissue. Testing it, it matched Agent Joseph. I, I see, and I understand the need for the guards now, who are no longer present. All right. Just doing a quick scan here, and it looks like you're able to produce any liquid that is typed into you as long as it is present. If it is something that's not liquid, such as diamonds or anything like that, or can't be put into a liquid state, you cannot produce it. You can even produce mixed liquids, such as like wiper fluid mercury, gold, as long as it can be in a liquid state, you can reproduce it. Or you can pull it from the container that it's in, okay. What's this here? Addendum. Under the same conditions, an agent asked for the best drink I've ever had. SCP-294 delivered a dark fluid with white foam which was later identified as Vienna Lager. The cup was printed with a colorful picture of five men and two women drinking beer on a beach, and one of them was the agent. In his briefing, the agent confirmed that was his favorite drink. So you don't even have to be specific. You can read minds. How fascinating. Looks like there's one other one. And then, um, let's see. There's quite a few here. Subject keyed in the perfect drink. The machine dispensed a cup containing an odorless lavender liquid. After drinking the liquid, subject appeared to go into shock. I see. Depressed that the world couldn't match up. Okay. I think that's enough of that.
Continue to read SCPs. File at a later date. There's many addendums. I know you can't really um, respond to me, but would you care if I took a closer look? I'm going to take that as a yes. Just going to feel around you. For the audio log, it feels like a standard vending machine. Nothing out of the ordinary. I'm gonna take a closer look with my pen light. Okay. Let's just see if there's anything that stands out here. Mm -hmm. Ordinary, of course it does, because it's just a coffee vending machine, but somehow you're a SCP, which is quite fascinating. I'm trying to take some samples. It's probably the best way to figure anything out here. Okay. I know there's been samples uh, requested of you before, but since I am your new case manager, I'm going to uh, grab some. I have the pop that I requested and the water. Let's see what else you can come up with. Um, let's try some milk. I'm going to type that in the SCP. Let's make it more specific. Let's try whole milk and see if it's accepted. Accepted. There's the paper cup, and for the liquid here. Perfect. For the audio log, it smells like milk. Tastes like normal milk. Say that was successful. Let's try something else. How about juice? Let's try some juice. Uh, we should be more specific. How about apple juice? Approved. Okay. Paper cup. And the juice here. Good. Take that. Thank you. It's good as well. So far, our tests have all been. 
Let's try and get a little more specific, shall we? Um, let's try a green smoothie. There's no vending machines around here and I'm hungry. So let's try a green Approved. Okay. Very good. It looks like a green smoothie and smells like one. Here in the log, it smells like bananas, spinach, apple. It's not bad. Okay. I mean, you're living up to your name. Uh, I've only heard good things besides that, um, or two addendums. Uh, let's do two more tests here, okay? Um, let's try, uh, slime. Let's get weird with it. You've given me normal liquids. Let's try slime. Slime. Approved. Oh, okay, let's see what she spit out. Done. Okay. Oh. And that way slime. But what kind of slime? You did read in your file that it doesn't matter what liquid it is. That the paper cup will always hold it, whether it's like molten gold, sulfuric acid, etc. I find that quite If you even understand what I'm saying. Gross. A nice job. Let's do one more test, shall we? Uh, let's try the best drink I've ever had, like that. Um, one doctor. Um, I know it's probably prohibited, but um, I would like to know for my own testing. I've ever had. Okay. Um, let's hope it dispenses quickly. Just like the um, file said, it's a lavender color with sparkles for the Smells kind of like lavender. Okay, I'm just going to my goodness. It it tastes remarkable like nothing I've ever had. This SCP is truly fascinating. Uh, we must take samples. We must take samples. I need to know what makes this concoction. Uh, what do I have around here? Uh, I suppose that should do. One moment. Alright. I found some Q-tips here that I can use to Saturate with our fluids, and I found some Ziploc bags that I guess can hold these samples until further testing. Let's try. 
start with our first skin action. Then we're just going to dip this in the what smells like Coca Cola fluid for the audio log. We will place it in a zipper. We'll test our next liquid here, which is the water. And we're just going to uh, dip the Q-tip in the water. Grab the plug. We're going to grab a few more samples here. I'm going to grab one of the slime and one of the best drink ever. So we're just going to saturate the cotton swab in the slime here. Hefty sample. Perfect. Just like that. And test my breath. And I'm going to retrieve one more sample of the best drink ever. Here we are. And we're just going to dip into these lilac sparkly liquid. Good. A bag here. And now that I've gotten the sample secured for the audio log, I am going to attempt to retrieve a sample of SCP-294 for testing purposes. I'm not sure if you can understand me, but if it is all right with you, I would like to retrieve a screw of some sort for testing purposes. Let me just take a cup of you. If I can find one that won't affect you, okay? Uh, then it'll be okay. Let me just take a quick a little look at you here. Okay. Everything looks good. I think I see one right here. Hold still. Unscrew that. Okay. 
those cards at anyway. Okay. Good. I think I have it here. Okay. Great. Retrieved a screw for testing purposes. Not this CPT. not sure if you can understand me, but it was a pleasure to meet you and I appreciate your cooperation. I'm going to go ahead and find your security personnel and have the lab run some tests on your fluid samples, okay? Again, for the record, My name is Dr. Smith. It was a pleasure to meet you. Right. Um, then no hands. Okay. Um, before someone thinks, I don't know what I'm doing and I'm not qualified, I will talk to you soon. Thank you again for your participation. Have a good day. Smart, John DC1, Brian, Patrick Stewart, Loxy.